All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be watching Game of Thrones Season 8, Episode 2. Man, this show is going by, has gone by really damn fast. I feel, and it feels like I just started Season 7. Like, technically, we would be on Season 7, Episode 9. You know, if it was like a full season, but nah. I'm so hurt that Season eight, 7 and 8 are so hurt. I'm so hurt by that. But basically, the biggest thing I feel like that happened in the last episode was, uh, well, Sam, so Daenerys and Sam, they met each other, which, okay. At first I was like, oh, that's really cool. Like, you know, Sam saves Jorah and then now Danny wants to meet the man who saved Jorah's life. I love this for them, you know? But then I, I kind of remembered that like, uh, Danny kind of killed Sam's dad and brother you know <laughs> like <laughs> and she told sam that and sam was just oh i've never felt i i feel so bad for sam dude like you know when it's kind of funny though because like when she told him that like when she told him about like his dad he was like oh well you know he was a dickhead but he's still my dad so like that sucks but he wasn't like that hurt about it. He was just like, well, yeah, that sucks. But at least I'll be able to come home now. You know, my brother will let me home. And it's like, yeah, about that one too. I feel like his brother dying, her telling him his brother's dead. That one hurt him a lot. That one, that one really hurt Sam, you know? And I feel like the timing of this information makes a very big difference. Because Sam was gonna go tell John about like his heritage and everything, who his parents are, and like now that he's like the technically the heir to the throne and everything. Danny telling him this information right before makes a huge difference. Because now it seems like Sam is really pushing John to like take the throne for himself. Because technically, yeah, he is the right he is the heir to the throne. But I feel like if Danny didn't kill Sam's dad and brother he probably wouldn't really be pushing John at all to even try and take the throne. He'd just be like, yeah, like, your dad's Rhaegar, Tar Rhaegar Targaryen. And he'd be like, well, technically, you have the the you're the heir to the throne. And then John would have been like, yeah, well, I don't want the throne. And Sam would have been like, yeah, that's cool. You know, like, that's it. But now Sam's like, no, you need to take it. You need to take it. Because he fucking hates Daenerys now, so... <laughs> I don't think he hates her, but he like does not like her. But obviously he has like, but obviously now he has like animosity towards her. So like he's telling John to get the throne out of his spite for what Daenerys did to his, his dad and brother. So yeah, but okay. Overall, I don't think John will do it because you know it's gonna. John's not that type of guy to go back on like a promise and everything. And like he already bent the knee to her and everything. He's not that type of guy to be like, yeah, well. Like I, I'm assuming if he was going to do it. He would wait until they defeat the Night King and everything. He wanted to just do it right now. That would be stupid. You know, like, he'd wait for her. He'd wait until, like, they defeat the Night King, you know, so he could have, use her help and stuff. And then he'd be like, yeah, about that. I'm actually in your family, and I have the heir to the throne. So, like, nah, dude, that would just be an all-out war between them. Like, nah, John doesn't want to do that. He doesn't want to do that. So, I don't see John even trying to take the throne. Like, he didn't even want to be the king of the north. Like, he didn't give a shit about that. But not to waste too much time, the episode ended with Jamie pulling up in the north at Winterfell and everything, and Bran was just chilling there waiting for him. You know? So, like, I, I, re that's, that's probably the storyline I'm most interested in right now because I cannot wait for Jamie to be like, yo, Bran, dog. I'm so sorry, or something like that, you know, and then obviously he's gonna tell them like, yo, Cersei, she, she fucking lied to you, all of you, she's not, she's not pulling up, she's not helping you guys, so, I, I assume they'll all be disappointed by this news, but they'll be like, yeah, <gasps> they'll be disappointed, but not surprised, and also thinking about it, now that Jamie's in Winterfell, so is Daenerys, and once upon a time, Jamie kind of did a thing, that kind of directly affected Daenerys' life a lot, which is, he, he like kind of killed her dad, and he has a nickname now because of it, so, how, how is this gonna go, like, like, I don't think she'll off him, but like, she 
probably really should, but then I feel like someone's gonna talk her out of it because Tyrion's probably gonna vouch for Jamie and everything, so, and I just can't see Jamie dying this way. I cannot see him dying this way, so. But anyways, I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this episode. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that will be available on Patreon. As well, early access to the next two episodes of Game of Thrones will also be available on Patreon. So, let's get started. My brother would tell me a bedtime story. Hmm. <laughs> about the man who murdered our father. <laughs> who stabbed him in the back and cut his throat. Who sat down on the Iron yeah. Throne and watched as his blood poured onto the floor. Yeah, yeah. This is a little bit awkward. All the things we would do to that man. Mhm. Mm Once we took back the Seven Kingdoms and had him in our grasp, your sister pledged to send her army north. Okay. She capped. It appears your sister lied to me. She lied to me as well. She never had any intention of sending her army north. She has Euron Greyjoy's fleet. I mean, maybe the fact that Jamie came here to so tell them that in. You know, try and help them anyway himself. Daenerys will spare him for that. Let's do. I promise to fight for the living. I intend to keep that promise. Mm hmm. He came here alone, knowing full well how he'd be received. Mm -hmm. Why would he do that if he weren't telling the truth? Perhaps he trusts his little brother to defend him. Mm -hmm. Right up to the moment he slits my throat. Yeah, Tyrion's looked pretty bad, to be honest, from Daenerys' perspective. He tried to destroy my house and my family the same as he did yours. Do you want me to apologize? I won't. Oh. We were at war. Everything I did, I did for my house and my family. I'd do it all again. The things we do for love. Yeah, oh yeah, Bran knows. Bran knows about them. Yeah, because he, he, for, not even because he's Three-Eyed Raven. He literally just saw them in episode one. And that's exactly what Jamie said right before he pushed them out of the freaking thing. Things we do for love, or the things I, whatever he said exactly, and he shoved Bran. This is about survival. <laughs> when we were both taken prisoner and the men holding us tried to force themselves on me, so Jamie defended me and lost his hand because of it and sent me to find you and bring you home because he'd sworn an oath to your mother. Mm -hmm. This is big, that big B can vouch for him. That's very big. Helps his case a lot. You vouch for him. Hell yeah. I do. You would fight beside him. I would. I trust you with my life. If you trust him with yours, we should let him stay. Oh yeah, cool. We need every man we can get. Very well. Let's go. Damn, that's crazy that Tyrion, Varys, and Jaime are not all now here. It's literally, this is literally King's Landing from season one. <laughs> Either you knew Cersei was lying and let me believe otherwise, or you didn't know at all. I didn't makes you know. either a traitor or a fool. Yeah, makes him look bad regardless. Cersei still sits on the throne. If you can't help me take it back, I'll find another hand who can. Yeah, Tyrion's gonna filter a lot, to be honest. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I'm sorry for what I did to you. You weren't sorry then. Mm. You were protecting your family. I'm not that person anymore. You still no. would be. If you hadn't pushed me out of that window. Mm. And I would still be Brandon Stark. You're not? No, I'm something else now. You won't be able to help us in this fight if I let them murder you first. Mm hmm. What about afterwards? How do you know there is an afterwards? Hmm. <laughs> this is different. And she is. Different. She is. She spared you. Was she lying about the baby too? I don't think. Yeah, yeah. I don't think. I didn't think she was. She's always been good at using the truth to tell lies. Mm-hmm. Maybe after I'm dead, I'll march down to King's Landing and rip her apart. <laughs> See what she could fight again? Ah, oh, Big B. Pod. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, Pod looks nice. Oh, he's teaching now. Wow. Yes, I think you're right. What are you doing? What? I think you know. <laughs> we have never had a conversation last this long without you insulting me. Not once. He's a changed man. He's trying to make amends, dog. I'm not the fighter I used to be. No. 
but I'd be honored to serve under your command. Oh, if you have me. I better get back. Oh. She did not expect him to be that humble right there. Serious mistakes. As have we all. Yeah. He owns his and learns from them. Mm-hmm. You're advising me to forgive the man who stole your position? I am. Oh, very honest. If you'll allow me. I'm open for as long as you can. I'll go try and talk to Sansa. Come besties with her. I asked him to be my hand because he was good and intelligent and ruthless when he had to be. He never should have trusted Cersei. He never should have either. Got her. <laughs> Aren't inclined to accept a woman's mm -hmm. And we've both done a damn good job of it, from what I can tell. And yet I can't help but feel we're at odds with one another. Yeah, she doesn't like... <sighs> he loves you, you know that. Mm -hmm. That bothers you. Men do stupid things for women. Oof. They're easily manipulated. Oof. My war was against them until I met John. Oh, God. Half a world away, fighting John's war alongside him. Mm -hmm. Tell me who manipulated whom. <laughs> well, when you put it that way. But you're, you, you're manipulating him to get, to get the North. I'm here because I love your brother. He's only the second man in my life I can say that about. Who was the first? Someone taller. <laughs> wow, well, dude, why are we why are we making short jokes about John? He looks like he's like five ten. <laughs> this is like the third one. This is like the third joke about it. We defeat the dead. We destroy Cersei. What happens then? I take the Iron Throne. What about the North? Yeah, what are you gonna do with us? We took it back, and we said we'd never bow to anyone else again. What about mm. the North? Yeah. Dude, just let us chill here and like we won't have a problem. <laughs> like <laughs> Oh Apologies, my lady. Oh no. Your Grace. <sighs> yep. Oh, Theon and Sansa. I'm here to serve you and everyone here. Your sister. She's good. She only has a few ships and she couldn't sail them here. So, she's sailing to the Iron Islands instead. Mm -hmm. To take them back in your name. But why aren't you with her? Because I'm here for you. Here for the Starks. I want to fight for Winterfell, Lady Sansa. If you'll have me. Aww. Yes. Oh, that, felt, that felt really good. My lord, we're not soldiers. You are now. <laughs> I mean, it'd be like that. But then I survived the Battle of the Bastards. If I can live through that, you can live through this. It's not it's not really the same day. <laughs> Which way should I go? <gasps> oh mind some of Shireen. I want to fight too. Oh god oh no. I'm going to be in the crypt with my son, and I'd feel a lot better with you down there to protect us. Mm -hmm. I'm sure a lot of people would. Oh, that's a good way that's a great way to get her down there. <laughs> Alright, I'll defend the crypt then. Yes, thank you. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ed's here, Tormund's here, Barrick's here. Let's go. John. Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> my little crow. <laughs> yeah, okay, let me hug my boy Ed first. It's been too long. The Umbers? Fighting for the Night King now. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great way to put it. And now, is with them. How long do we have before the sun comes up tomorrow? Oh, that's tough. That's tough. The big woman's still here. <laughs> Our enemy doesn't tire, doesn't stop, doesn't feel. We can't beat them in a straight fight. No, we gotta flank the fuck out of them. Use the Darth Raki to flank the fuck the out of them. The king made them all. They follow his command. If he falls, yeah, they all die too. That's. Getting to him may be our best chance. If that's true, mm. he'll never expose himself. He'll come for me. What does he want? An endless night. Mm. He wants to erase this world, and I am its memory. Mm -hmm. well, that's what death is, isn't it? Forgetting. Damn. True. Once you're forgotten, you, you're truly dead. You die twice. Mm. When you die in the real world, when you're forgotten. He always knows where I am. 
We'll put you in the crypt where it's safest. No. Yeah, We nah. need to lure him into the open before his army destroys us all. You want us to use you as bait? Kinda. He won't be. I'll stay with him. <sighs> okay. All right, Theon's definitely dying. I took this castle from you. Let me defend you now. Oh. You know what? I, I won't be mad. I, I won't be mad if he dies like this. I won't be mad. I'll be hurt, but I won't be mad. You'll be in the crypt. Your Grace, I have fought before. I <laughs> there are thousands of them, and only one of you. Mm -hmm. You can't fight as well as they can, but you can think better than any of them. Protecting Tyrion, you know, for because what Sir Jorah said. Just looking out for him. We're all going to die. Yeah, probably. Um, dude, but at least we die together. <laughs> just let John, dude. Just lure him the brand, and then John's just gonna mm -hmm. run up on him and <laughs> just go toe to toe with him for like thirty seconds, and John's waxing him. All right, all right. Here's what I think we should do, though. We should, we should have a good chunk of the army in front of Winterfell, right? How they how how they have it on this board, okay? And then we have okay. As far as I know, we have like a hundred thousand Darthraki, okay? We're gonna have twenty five k on the right, twenty five k mm -hmm. on the left, okay? That's fifty k. We're gonna have fifty k in front of them. We're gonna have the twenty five on each side flank the fuck out of them. That that should work. When Daenerys takes her throne. There will be no place for us here. I will fight for her until her enemies are defeated. But when the war is over, do you want to grow old in this place? Is there nothing else you want to do? Nothing else you want to see? I'll show you the world. We cannot protect ourselves. Mm -hmm. My people are not peaceful. We will protect you. Mm-hmm, exactly. <laughs> okay, and there's a hundred thousand in the Night King's army, okay? We already have a one-to-one -one ratio with the Darth Raki, and then we have all the Unsullied, which is only 7,000 more, which isn't that much more, but it's a lot more. I don't know. I'm saying, like I said in the last video, I, I'm saying that one Darth Raki's taking out five of the whites, okay? I love that ratio for us. I think we win. <laughs> and then we have everyone else in Winterfell and whatever, shit like that. However many there are in Winterfell, you know, whatever. I think as long as we have a good battle strategy, we will win. The only problem is once our people start to die, they'll just pick up at his whites. So that's the only problem. So it's really, it's a timing game to get to the Night King before too many of us die and they turn into more of the more whites for their army, so. Everyone seems to forget that I was the first man to kill a White Walker. I've killed Fens. I've saved Gilly more than once. I stole a considerable number of books from the Citadel Library. Survived the Fist of the First Men. Mm hmm Samuel Tarly. Slayer of white walkers. Lover of ladies. <laughs> Think back to where we started. Us. Gren. Pip. Mm-hmm. R.I.P. Oh, it's just us three. Yep. Last man left. Burn the rest of us. Oh. I wish father were here. Yeah, look, me, me too, Loki. See the look on his face when he realizes his two sons are about to die defending Winterfell. <laughs> that would that would be a good. That would be really good. That would be something to see. He's rolling in his grave right now. <laughs> it's not good either. Thank you, my lord. I don't think that's wise. <laughs> oh, the battle might start at any moment. Yeah. If I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die drunk. Well, that's just me, though. Thank you. I should try and get some sleep. You really think I'm oh, <laughs> sleep tonight? Yeah, pause like, thank you. <laughs> it could be our last night in this world, you know? No, you're not piping, dog. I killed the giant when I was ten. Damn. Then I climbed right into bed with his wife. <laughs> Suckled me at her teeth for three months. Nice. Thought I was a baby. <laughs> That's how I got so strong. Oh my god. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like Tormund's character kind of... Kind of turned into, like, the comedic relief, and... I don't, know, I don't really know how I feel about that, to be honest. Like, it was, like, funny at first, but I feel like they're kind of just, like, overdoing it. It's, like, all he does now. You know? I don't know. Lord Alive's gonna wonder why I brought you back 19 times just to watch you die when I chuck you over this fucking wall. <laughs> that for me. 
Oh, well, he made it. It's done. What did the red woman want with you? She wanted my blood. Some kind of spell. Why your blood? King's blood. I'm Robert Baratheon's bastard. Yep. <laughs> with her. Were you with other girls before that in King's Landing? What, are you jealous, are you? Are you jealous? 20. Oh, I didn't keep count. Yes, you did. <sighs> Three. We're probably going to die soon. Oh. I ought to know what it's like before that happens. Oh. Oh, yeah, she is scarred up. I'm not the red woman. Take your own bloody pants off. <laughs> All right, well, good for them. It's strange, isn't it? Almost everyone here's fought the Starks. <laughs> yeah. And here we are in their castle, ready to defend it. Crazy how things work out, huh? Well, oh, dude, Pod, Pod looks so different. It's the hair, though. It looks good. I think we might live. I do. I think some of you will live. Not all of you, but some of you. Women can't be knights. Why not? Tradition. Fuck tradition. I'm no king. But if I were... I'd make you an... I'd knight you ten times over. <laughs> He's trying so hard. Any knight can make another knight. Hmm. Hmm. Kneel, Lady Brienne. Hmm, he's about to um, annoy her, I think the word is. I don't know, but you know what I mean. He's about to induct her. <laughs> She's like, no way, this means so much to her. In the name of the Father, I charge you to be just. In the name of the Mother, I charge you to defend the innocent. Arise, Brienne of Toth. Mm. A knight of the Seven Kingdoms. Let's go. Knight of the Seven Kingdoms. Mm-hmm. Damn, that meant everything to her. Good for her. Good for Jamie for doing that to him. The future of our house. I don't need you to remind me of that. No. Yeah, that's right. I will not hide underground. I pledge to fight for the North, oh and I God. will fight. Oh my God. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, she's Lady Mormon, obviously. Her and Jorah are related. How exactly are her and Jorah related? Is this like his niece or something? I wish you good fortune, cousin. Oh, okay, cousin. If I just waited like 10 seconds. Damn. Dude, I mean, I love how she wants to fight, but I do not want her to die. God damn. It's called Heart's Bane. It's my family sword. Mm -hmm. But I can't really hold it upright. Yeah, so you can take it. I wield it in his memory to guard the realms of men. Oh. I'll see you when it's through. I hope we win. <laughs> Me too. How about a song? One of you must know one. So, Davos? You'll pray for a quick death. Where's Bronn when you need him? Those of the kings who are gone. Oh, Pod. On the damp old stone. Mm, Sansa and Theon kind of got a thing going. Too bad Theon's probably going to die. And it's going to crush Sansa's heart. Ooh. A lot of romance going on in this episode, you know? Wanted to leave. Damn, Grey Worm. Damn. Never wanted to leave. All right. They here? Can't, can't tell. To leave. That was a good song by Pod. That was a very good song. Is John gonna tell her right here? About you know. John would be dumb to tell her right now. Like, this is literally the worst time to possibly tell her. Like, right before we're about a fight. If he... He should tell her after, <laughs> but that has to assume that, like, they both live. But shit, I guess if he dies, then it wasn't meant to be, so... Oh, God, he's gonna tell her. My brother, Rhaegar. Yeah. Everyone told me he was decent and kind. He liked to sing. Gave mm -hmm. money to poor children. And he raped her. Yeah, it turns out... Yeah, well, that was a lie. And I he's my dad. 
He loved her. Oh, when he hits her with, like, he's my dad, she's gonna be yeah, tripping. They were married in secret. Mm hmm After Rhaegar fell on the trident, she had a son. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this... Robert would have murdered the baby if he ever found out, and Lyanna knew it. This guy. As she bled to death on her birthing bed, was gave the boy to her brother. Mm-hmm. Ned Stark. Ah! Uh... To raise as his bastard. Yeah. My name. My real name. Is Aegon Targaryen. Oh! Six of his name. That's impossible. I wish it were. Who told you this? Sam. Bran. He saw it. He saw it? And Samwell confirmed it. Yeah. He read about their marriage at the Citadel without even knowing what it meant. A secret no one in the world knew. Except your brother and your best friend. Oh yeah, that does not look good at all. Doesn't seem strange to you? It seems like such a fucking lie. <laughs> to fuck over Danny and give John the flame. True, it would make you the last male heir of House Targaryen. Mm-hmm. You'd have a claim to the Iron Throne. Yeah. Dude, why did he tell her this? Like, I... This is such a bad idea to tell her right now. Because now she's going to be... Oh, I guess, I guess they're here. But it's, she's going to be, like, distracted thinking about this and everything. Like, she's fucking pissed now. Or whatever. Because, like, she probably thinks he's lying, first of all. But even... But, you know, even if it is true, then that means her claim to the throne is... It's disqualified, technically. Because it's his now. So it's like, damn. They don't have time to talk about it. Be like, John can't even be like, yo, I don't give a fuck about it. You know, you can have it regardless. I just thought I should tell you, like, you know? Oh, it's the end of the episode. Damn, this episode was an hour. That shit flew by. That felt like 30 minutes. Okay, so... I don't think John should have told her that right there. I just feel like this is horrible timing for what's about to happen. Now she's gonna be kind of distracted with that thought in her head and everything, and she can't focus on the on the Night King and everything now. And now, if John's life comes down to it, she might think twice about saving him because you know, in her head, he is a legit heir. He's a legit. He has a legit claim to the Iron Throne now. And that obviously threatens her claim to the Iron Throne. And that's all she's ever wanted. Like, she just told Sansa. That's all she's ever wanted. Since day one. And she's literally so close. She's not gonna let this get in her way. But then again, I do get it's like John's character to be honest about what you know at all times and everything. And not hide anything from anyone like that. And just be... And just have the most honor of all time. But I feel like... There, there's nothing dishonorable about waiting to tell her this. If it could potentially affect the outcome of what we're about to do, you know, like, John, you want to beat this fool so fucking bad and save everyone in the North, you know it has a great chance of affecting what the outcome of what's going to happen. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I feel like John was comfortable enough to tell her that because he knows, like, okay, he's not a threat. He's not going to, he's probably not going to do shit about it. But he just wanted to tell her that. And again, it's his character to tell her that and be that honest about everything and stuff. But but now Daenerys is going to see him as a threat. But if Jon wanted the Iron Throne, why would he tell Daenerys that? Why wouldn't he just take it from her then? Well, I don't know. Maybe she could see it as like, well, he's like trying to tell me, trying to tell me this so I could peacefully let him have it or whatever, right? Instead of just like fucking me over taking it from me but nah if John really wanted the Iron Throne no he probably would try and go to her peacefully about it but regardless he doesn't want it if he if he ends up wanting it I'm gonna be so pissed because that is not consistent with his character at all so but on uh, but whatever all right whatever whatever the Night King's here we gotta focus on him there's four episodes left okay since there's only four episodes left I feel like I feel like next episode is when characters are gonna start to die because the Night King's here, shit's gonna go down, shit's gonna happen. And honestly, I was thinking about, okay, like, if characters die now, am I gonna be sad? Yes. Am I gonna be hurt? Yes. Am I gonna be mad about it? No. Because it, there's four episodes left, it's like... What, what do you expect, I guess? It's, I feel like it's, it's gonna be very hard to make the, like, the fuck up the deaths. To fuck up 
how these characters die. It, dude, if it's just like, like, okay, like Theon, for example, I fully expect him to die. I expect him to live for a little bit, but then, you know, like he'll fight for a little bit. Maybe he'll die protecting Sansa or something like that. Like that, I would be totally okay with. I'm gonna be sad, but I'm okay with. If he just like gets, like, I'm not, I hope this doesn't happen. I don't think it will happen, but if something like, the fight just be begins and he just gets offed in like the dumbest way possible that will that will make me mad but i don't think it will happen but that's like that's just a case to where i won't be okay with it damn this entire episode took place in winterfell though not mad about it but this entire episode was just in winterfell we got nothing with cersei over in king's lightning i mean okay thinking about like the battle strategy i feel like the night king should literally just surround winterfell this fool has a hundred thousand of them why doesn't he just surround winterfell completely like we're fucked if he does that and if we have the north rocky where are they where is a hundred thousand are they like are they like camped outside of winterfell or something like they literally have to. that's probably preventing him from circling around if that is true i don't know that's just that's just a guess but yeah so basically the plan is to kind of use bran as bait which bran is okay with so okay cool we're gonna use him as bait to get the night king over there then we're just gonna john's gonna run up on him and just wax him and just, okay first chance he gets he's just gonna wax him which okay in theory i like that idea but i feel like it's not gonna be that simple i feel like he's gonna pull some shit we don't know about and it's, this is gonna be a lot more complicated than we think it's gonna be and big b became a knight in this episode by jamie too which i think is pretty cool <sighs> come a long way she that meant so much to her and i'm so happy for her that she finally got she finally got this for her and like the fact that it was done by jamie makes it a lot better too i feel like okay wait i was thinking about this i'm probably completely wrong but San jamie was a knight for the lannister army right and now technically he doesn't serve them anymore is he, is, is he still a knight or not because he doesn't serve the lannisters anymore i guess he's still a knight in general so he'd still he could still make big b a knight but like still like is there anything to that i, I don't know but yeah that was game of thrones season eight episode two comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments if you liked the video like the video and thanks for watching